The La Nina of 2017-18 has come to a close finally. It ended in the late part of April, and now the sea surface temperature and the atmospheric variables in the tropical Pacific have returned to a neutral condition. And so what do we have to say? Well, it sounds like it's all over and things are dull, but no, never a dull moment. The water temperature below the surface in the central and eastern tropical Pacific has been above average for the last few months. It was triggered by a westerly wind event uh, in the western tropical Pacific as far back as February. And it caused a Kelvin wave and that part of the ocean is warmer than average and that could portend El Nino development later this year. In fact, a lot of the models are predicting weak El Nino by the fall and winter. But we're very cautious because we're still in the Enso spring predictability barrier. It lasts another month or so. It's not an exact time, it's just a general time of the year, including now where, where the accuracy of our forecast is not that great. Because the spring and early summer are still in an unstable period with the chaotic changes in the atmosphere and the, and the ocean. So we're a little cautious about actually officially predicting an El Nino, but the models want to. And since we use the models to make our climate forecast, the climate forecast are showing some reflections of a weak El Nino later this year. For example, the northern part of South America has a tilt in the odds toward below normal precipitation for later in the year. And over the summer, Central America and the Caribbean are, are, have a tilt of the odds, a fairly strong tilt toward below normal rainfall. And the El Nino, if we do get one, will not have formed yet by the summer. In fact, it may not really be much above exactly average, at least in the early part of the summer. So we don't really know what, what that's all about. Why is it happening? It could have to do with the Atlantic sea surface temperature anomalies. And the, the other factor that we can't attribute to the ENSO situation at all is a forecast for a tendency toward above average rainfall or above normal rainfall in the Sahel in Africa. That wouldn't be expected with weak El Nino if an El Nino does develop and we're officially giving it only just under a 50% chance, like 45 to 50% chance. The models want to say 65% chance, but we don't believe them because the models don't really know about the spring predictability barrier.